Hey, we're gonna do a little whip up here of chicken breast wrapped in pastry, but I wanna stuff the chicken breast with a couple of herbs. So what I've done is a bit of prep. I've also got uh, some garlic, I've got spinach, I've got spring onions, I've got coriander, and I've cut up just a little bit, oh, that smells amazing, just a little bit of basil as well. And this is just gonna be the mixture that we're gonna stuff the chicken breasts with and then wrap them in uh, egg washed pastry. Uh, I've got some, uh, in fact, I'll pull out a shape. I've got some, oh, some beautiful little sweet potatoes, which I've just cut uh, just halfway through. Sometimes it's pretty cool to do it. What you do is put it in between two things and then, oh, except that, and, and just do that so you don't go all the way through. So, and, and I'll just drizzle some butter in those when I put them in the oven. So they're just going to pre-cook. So. Uh, so less time in the oven, so just in the microwave, keep that going. Um, I want to egg wash these as well, so in doing so, I want to make sure I just separate the yolks from the white. Okay, so we just want the egg yolks for this. Whoop, the daisy, there we go. We just want a couple of egg yolks. And this not only works as a kind of a, uh, a great taste, but also helps with the almost like a glue, holding it together, uh, holding that pastry onto the, uh, the chicken itself. Okay, so let's just do that. Now with this, just while I'm doing this, with the, uh, the stuffing, what I also want to do, I'm just going to put in a tiny bit of uh, feta cheese, okay, just to soften it up. You could do anything in this kind of stuffing. Um, when I've got it all together, it kind of takes around 25, 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. Um, here we go, guys. Uh, until obviously it's brown. Now, the thing is, you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to undercook it, if that makes sense with the chicken. So we'll put that aside. We'll use those whites for something else. So with the egg yolks, just mix that through. This becomes a kind of a glue. Just gonna come back here, just quickly get that stuff in the Get another little spoon on that, just so we can take out some of that feta. And with this feta, what I love about this is it's great oil. So we'll be use we'll use a little bit of that oil as well, just with the pepper the corns in there. You can see. Don't overdo it. This stuffing, but this really does keep it all right, nice and moist. So just break that through. We're going to come back. I don't necessarily need to use that onion, it was just in the fridge. I thought I might even just throw it in with the when I bake the potato, sweet potato as well. So mix it through. I've got a little bit of salt on there, a little bit of pepper. I've got my uh, puff pastry there cut up into little strips, thawed as well, of course, uh, out of the freezer and we'll baste those and just wrap up those little chicken breasts. Okay, probably nice, creamy. Look at that, good. Okay, now, put that aside. With these little chicken breasts, what do you want to do is keep it separate. So we want to try and, if we can, under that little lip, just find a little section where you can cut it. Don't cut all the way through. Okay, and we can stuff those with a bit of that stuffing. Okay, so same process, find that little lip, go on the inside, and then what that little, little bit there is, we can stuff that in and roll it through and then wrap it up with the pastry itself. Same process, cutting it carefully, you don't cut it all the way through. Lovely. Done, 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 and that one as well. There's no real science to it, it just makes it so it stays in there. Okay, just quick clean of the hands for that chicken. All right, now these pastry strips, that's a bigger one at the moment. Might need a couple for each one, we're gonna wrap them up. There's a bit of loose sticky on there. Stops it uh, connecting to each. Now what I wanna do is just literally with the egg yolk, just going to show you how to baste it, both sides first, but we'll just do it this way first. 
potatoes are done. Sweet potatoes are nice and just give it a little go there. You might need more than four yolks, depending on how much we're going to do here. Now, what we want to do is we might need two of these. So we want to stuff these first and then roll them in. So with, it might have been easy, put it on here with that little, that lip that we've made. Lots of yummy stuffing. Try and bring that over if you possibly can. Keep most of it on. And just essentially rolling that in again, keeping that as much as you can. Now we're probably going to need two of those, so get that other one based. And we'll do the other side once we've got that wrapped up. Okay, so I know it is a bit fiddly, but if you can, same sort of process. Actually, probably can roll it through, tuck it in the bed as such, and bring it around. Okay, so it almost looks like, it doesn't matter if there's some sticking out the end, it almost looks like, and we'll get that candy. Uh, with some non-stick paper, almost looks like a little cross on. Okay, just keep the edge there. Same process with your egg, just baste it on, and that'll help it golden brown as well. Love it. I'm gonna do the other ones, stack them, pack them, roll them, and then baste them, and then we'll put them in the oven. About 180 degrees for around 20-25 minutes and then we'll show you what it looks like.